y'all happy saturday i hope all is well with y'all for this weekend i am truly blessed and again i want to thank you i know i say it every single time but y'all guys deserve to hear it okay thank you so much for tuning in for your support for your love um for the donations to my channel um for the subscribes y'all are freaking amazing y'all freaking amazing now let me tell y'all my saturday has been pretty decent i've skated i rode bikes i did a dance fitness workout i love to be very active i love moving my body and i love getting outside because it balances me okay so today my mind kind of has been a little bit everywhere but i've been doing everything that i can to keep myself grounded here okay so i hope you've been doing the same thing too um i know us virgos have had you know some trying times over the last year or so months weeks however all right but especially when it comes to the matters of love but however as long as you stay in a positive mindset and you stay grounded you should be straight it's tough it's not it's not as easy as it sounds right i know that and i do understand that but at the same time this is all about your manifestation okay so this is all about attracting exactly what it is that you desire for yourself right now so at this point you kind of gotta put you know let bygones be bygones forgive um let anything that's no longer serving you go all right let it go that's all i'm saying let it go i mean you're gonna have to fight for this you gotta fight for your own damn self at this moment right but um i'm gonna jump right in because i know i only have limited time with this being that my phone only has enough storage space for about 30 minutes but let's see i want to set my attentions too as well so i'm gonna do that now thank you holy spirit thank you my angelic guys for helping me with this collective reading for virgo thank you for the energy update for us for today thank you for protecting us as we go through the spiritual gates to commune with you and closing the gates to anything that's not in alignment with the divine's will or the purpose of these readings thank you for protecting me from any psychic attacks any negative energies and any spell work that could be being projected towards me thank you for closing all doors of communication to anyone who is against me or my community and so it is thank you for speaking through me so loud and clear spirit thank you for showing up for this reading tonight all right y'all if your sun moon or rising is in virgo welcome to my channel if you are a virgo lover how you doing i know y'all like to spy on us it's okay okay because we probably do it to you too now make sure you check out your moon sign and your rising sign too as well um i don't really post as much about that um but I am working through the month of May reading. So I have Aries all the way up into Scorpio. All right. So I'm going to try to finish up some more tonight, possibly, or maybe tomorrow. Um, just to hurry up and get May out of the way. So then you can check up on your energy and see what's going on with you for the month of May. Um, I really pretty much just post what is the most popular views. Um, which would be Virgo, Sagittarius, and Gemini's. So that's probably what you pretty much see a whole lot on my channel or um, or Twin Flame readings too as well. So, But however, I'm going to jump right in. Thank you so much, my spirit guides. What is the general energy update today for my Virgos? What is it that they need to know in regards to, today, to, the, to today's energy? <laughs> Thank you so much. I want to shuffle that again, so that fell out. It's all crazy. Thank you. So the journey card is in the reverse. Oh, man. So my energy has just flip-flopped all over the goddamn place. We was on we was on point for a minute, right? Somebody is off journey here. Who is it? The angel of balance in the reverse and the appreciation card is in the reverse. All right. So someone is definitely not on their path here. Or maybe it feels like it's some delays when it comes to this. Now, y'all, hold on one second. I want to show y'all this card in the reverse. Then I got the Angel of Balance card in the reverse. I got the Appreciation card in the reverse. <laughs> Virgo, what is going on here with y'all? With us? <laughs> is this our energy or is this our people's energy? All right. So look, check this out. And I do get this, right? Because I am desiring to move, right? So this card also represents moving, um, getting away, going on a trip or whatever, right? But it seemed like it's some type of delays or even a cancellation with that. 
this journey card could also just mean literally like you're just off path right now and it's making you feel un like you're not balanced right now okay but you got to refocus your energy and be flexible enough to alter whatever it is that you have to right now right sometimes it takes adjustments when it comes to this now and i can say that maybe why i have been a little off balance because i am trying to move um i do want to move but some things fell through for me with that and it kind of just like took me back a little bit right and so i am kind of in this energy of it's 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 not like i'm not appreciative but it's just like i want more you understand that feeling like i want more right and that's where it's at it's like maybe you want more whatever this is you want more and you're feeling off balance here because it just seems to be a delay in that now um I'm going to pull more cards because I want to see what else is going on. I'm definitely going to go to my Archangel Tarot deck just to get started. You know what? Thank you, Spirit. Spirit says start with a daily guidance card. Thank you so much. What is this about for Virgo? What is it that they need to know? <laughs> this wedding card came out again, y'all. <laughs> Let me tell you. So maybe you're feeling a little off balance, right? Because what you want in love doesn't seem to be happening just yet if maybe you feel like your person isn't moving fast enough or maybe you feel like it's not going to happen right because what we have been speaking about i think all tarot readers have been speaking the same thing weddings people coming back together reconciliation things like that and it's like god damn it where is that it's not happening each day you're anticipating and you're just like they said da -da -da. but remember it's all about timing all right it's all about timing um especially when it comes to things like this and the perfect timing actually came out right it's like this is perfect timing it's saying now is the perfect moment for you to act on whatever your inspirations are because the door is open and your person may be feeling this inspiration here to do this but for some odd reason they're not probably aligned with that okay they're not really taking action or moving forward here um and they're delaying it or procrastinating and for some odd reason right now law of attraction is also here so as we know remember what i spoke about here in the beginning it doesn't matter we got to stay in a high vibration because we trying to manifest some shit here right whatever it is that you're trying to manifest right you need to be a vibrational match to that and it's saying that you're going to need to use the law of attraction when doing this whatever it is that you want out of this situation here use that all right or even if your person um if this is your person's energy and not yours here um they need to definitely tap in to be able to do that or they are trying to think positive when it comes to manifesting this connection here um for you guys all right now remember and i really feel like this is for you virgo too but you do have the power to literally align your thoughts okay or to choose your thoughts right so you have the power to choose whatever way you're going to think about this situation um and i encourage you to focus on what it is that you want instead of what it is that you don't want or what you don't see happening in your situation at this moment right but just try to stay in tune with that with those energies to, um so that you can keep pushing forward and manifesting right because it's all about having high frequency frequencies vibrational frequencies <laughs> in order for you to do this okay so each thought is an investment that pays immediate dividends so remember that so invest wisely with your thoughts all right invest wisely with those thoughts i mean shit i definitely need that message y'all because i know i totally been like what the is going on here in america all right y'all so let me see Thank you, my spirit guys. What else you got to tell Virgo today? Let me tell you, spirit has been schooling us the last couple of days, y'all. So take heed to this um, information that has been given to you. It is intuitive advice. You don't have to take it. We all have free will. But um, I do highly suggest that you at least listen to it because this isn't coming from me. This is coming from my spiritual team. And they know better than us, right? Because they already straight plugged in the source. We are too, right? But sometimes we can't hear or see the answers um, that we need. And this is why we watch tarot readings, right? Because we just totally can't see what's happening next year. Thank you. What message do you have for... That's my son, y'all. Y'all know how it is. What message do you have for Virgo in regards to that situation here? Yeah. Thank you so much. It's like this wedding. This this is coming. It's coming. It's in the air. It's coming. It's in the energies. It's in your person's thoughts. Um, it's coming. Okay. The two of Michael. Um, two of Michael. No, ten of Michael. Sorry. 
I don't know why I kept thinking of the number two. So number two usually represents union and things like that. So maybe that's why that number came to me. I'm trying to learn how to pay attention to those instant um, thoughts that may come to my mind or things that may come out my mouth where I think it's a mistake in me saying it, but it actually has meaning to it. Now, two of Michaels basically says that a situation has ended and you're finally free, right? So new opportunities for hot happiness will now follow. Put the past behind you. All right. So you guys actually, you know, you have went through an ending, right? You have went through an ending. You're free from the bondage from the past. All right. So put the past behind you. So if you're still holding on to any unforgiveness, any hurt, any pain from the past, right? Leave it. Because this is the opportunity for happiness to actually come in, even with your person, even if they're feeling still stuck and um, hurting or grieving because of situations ending, they need to really try to fully embrace the new opportunities that are coming before them, right? Because this is the perfect time in here to do this, all right? Some of you may meet someone new, right? But it's up to you what you want to do. It's your choice. Is what spirit is saying you have invested your time wisely and this is the same thing as saying even with the law of attraction cards just have patience right you're going to have to have patience with this as you wait for the harvest review your progress and make plans for your next endeavor that's all you can do at this point focus on what's working for you focus on what is actually taking place in your life now that's working y'all don't worry about nothing else whatever you're seeing with your natural eye here don't even focus on it because it's just a distraction to keep you from being able to manifest what, what, what you truly want. Because why? You're the magician and you have angels that are actually literally there supporting you and helping you and guiding you through this. You just have to have patience as this will manifest. And when the harvest blooms, y'all, I'm telling you, this is going to be something that's very abundant here is what Spirit is saying. Now, don't allow the bumps in the road to hinder your progress. All right. So like I was telling y'all when I was like, damn, I had some delays and something I was trying to manifest with moving and I got a bump in the road. And now I'm like, fuck, you know, like what do I do now? Da -da -da -da. Should I just stop completely or should I keep trying to make the necessary steps so that I can move here? Right. But there's a wonderful idea that could be coming to you. All right, so pay attention to the synchronicities, pay attention to whatever it is, those, your dreams, whatever um, downloads that could be coming to you, because those are ideas and they are divinely guided is what I'm getting. Okay, so clear up any communication problems that you may be having also with others during this time, right? But don't allow any of the bumps in the road to actually hinder your progress here because you have invested so much of your energy, um, especially positive energy into manifesting what it is that you want for yourself. And there's going to be an excellent opportunity that's really going to be offered to you. All right, y'all. I mean, this is strictly like whether it's this wedding that keeps coming out here where you two and um, you and your person come together in this form or even if you meet someone new. Right. But however, there's going to be an opportunity offered to you. It could be something dealing with your work. Right. It could be something dealing with education. Maybe someone may get a scholarship or a raise, you know, but however it is. Right. Stay balanced. Because this opportunity that's coming to you is going to be reliable. Whatever this offer is that's coming to you is going to be reliable. Like I said, even if it's the offer um, of your person proposing. Do what you love at this time. Because this is time for you to grow is what Spirit is saying. This is about your personal growth. And this is about your life purpose. Your career as well or your artistic endeavors like i'm an artist as well like i do a lot of shit y'all so i know i've been really i got so many paintings behind me and i'm like i need to do something with these maybe i need to do an online um uh, art show or something right because i just got tons of paintings right and i just keep painting and painting i i, I make jewelry i do all types of stuff y'all but i um really don't i don't know i like to create at my own flow. I don't like for people to give me ideas to do it. Let me just be creative, right? Um, but really focus on those things. And you're going to start to see so many opportunities open up for you when you actually focus on what it is that you actually love. What is your passion? 
that's what you should be focusing on too as well because this is just a time right now like i said yesterday for you to level up this is your level up time you know when you have your partner in your life right what ends up happening you get distracted and it's hard for you to focus on those things that you normally could focus on when you alone right when you in your solitude but um wisdom and objectivity are important now so stay in your integrity okay and for real y'all this situation is going to call call for honest and open communication this is not a point anymore y'all where you can sit here and not speak your truth y'all have gotten so far and so deep into this connection that you have going on with this person you're gonna have to honestly speak your truth what the hell is it that you really want all right don't try to dumb it down because you know the other person may not be ready to hear what you know what it is or they may not be ready to actually take that step with you you speak exactly what it is that you want and what you're not going to do no more or whatever however it is for you stand in your integrity of that if you don't want to keep doing the same um cycles over and over again with this person then speak that i'm not doing that no more i want change i want growth i want expansion i don't want to keep staying stuck here with you doing the same thing over and over and over and over and over it's like a repeat song right again no okay so be open in your communication here um and that probably will most definitely encourage your person to speak honestly as well is what i'm getting a gift wow so there's some type of gift <laughs> wow this gift could be leading to this <laughs> okay so let's see what's going on with this gift there's some type of gift that's going to be offered to you pathway and it's on wow it's a part of the path so even though it may seem like you on this journey and it's like what the freak again like why is it so much drama so much so many obstacles pain you know heartbreak but as you're going down that pathway is leading you to the light here is leading you to your new beginning both numbers on these cards is eight so whatever's in that box whatever that gift is if this is the universe offering you this gift here um even down to if this is your person's energy if it, the universe has offered you as a gift to your person right you're actually a blessing to your person and they're not really they see it i, I really truly believe that they do know that right but they're still operating in those lower energies here and they're not fully embracing the opportunity to take this chance right it's in their mind they're thinking about it so that's 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 a that's a start right because when it's a thought then it becomes a thing law of attraction y'all law of attraction all right tell us more about this here yep it's coming unexpectedly y'all all right, so whether like this card says unexpected income, and I do get that because I did pick up heavily on some type of um, opportunity or offer that's going to be coming to some of y'all when it comes to your career, your finances, and things like that. Um, but this is also an unexpected offer too. So whether it's income or this unexpected gift, proposal, um, commitment, it's coming right now. All right, so I got two cards here that came out that's kind of conflicting, right? <laughs> but we're going to see what this is about. I have the wealthy man card. So this is someone who is well-established here. Someone who um, is a good planner, I see, and they're good with their money. Someone who um, is not that much, not that older, but um, they are definitely established is what I'm saying. Well-dressed person here. Um, this person could be coming into your life. This could be for some of y'all remember i said whether this is a new person that could be coming in it could be an unexpected person coming to your life right and it's going to put your your person is actually going to be in despair about this or this person right here may not be where you need to be at is what i'm getting hold on let me pull some more cards here so i can see this thank you Tell me about this wealthy man here. A child. So this wealthy man may be your person here. Does your, your person could be well established and have their um, finances in order, um, good with their money, right? And there's a child whether this be some childhood trauma whether this be a small child that they have 
or whether this be um, a new child that's coming. It, it could be a girl. Someone could have a daughter here. Thank you. This child on this card looks to be about maybe two, two or three. Tell me more about this child. And the marriage card. There go that marriage card again. So I need to pull some tarot on this, y'all, because I'm using my um, my Kipper deck, and this just is like, what? What's happening here? Maybe also your person wants to have a child by you and marry you. So this is what could be that unexpected thing that's coming in. Maybe they want to have a child by you and marry you, um, and they're in despair right now because they don't know how to come forward and ask you this. Some of them may have lost their job. Some of them may be looking for work here and they keep getting turned down. But whatever it is, it's something that's keeping them in despair. What is this despair about here, Spirit? It's some conflict. And they have they're experiencing some type of loss or some type of hardship here. Okay, a situation isn't turning out the way that they expected it to turn out. All right, so whatever this conflict is, is this is what's keeping them in despair. It has something to do with, okay, the chariot card is in reverse position here. So things are out of balance right now. It's some stuff that's out of balance for your person right now. Um, and it has something to do with a queen of wands, or this could be you. Now, the queen of, queen of wands usually represents fire signs too as well. But if not, this is you. It could be your energy that I'm picking up because it's in an upright position. All right, in my upright position, um, cards that are kings and queens normally represent um, the light side of my peoples. But sometimes we can operate in our lower selves too as well. So I won't, ne I won't neglect that. But it's something here where you're standing up for yourself, okay? You're standing up for yourself. You're a person that will stand by your person's side regardless, and you may have taken that away. And they're in a lot of despair here. So this may be why they're going to come in here to offer you something um, deeper, whether it's marriage or whether it's a commitment here. And it may have something to do with a child. And this is why they're in despair here. And this is why they want to come in to make this offer. OK, because they haven't been supportive of this connection or or recognizing you in that way that you have been um, anticipating here. So thank you. Yep, they want to reconcile. So pretty much, y'all, it's coming, y'all. If they haven't already um, showed face here in your situation, it's the energies is building up to that. It just takes time, right? And now is the perfect timing. So some of them are literally too scared still to kind of look at this mirror here. Okay, look, the Eight of Swords is like <laughs> trapped or restricted or clouded in their judgment. Someone... um Okay, thank you. They're dreaming about it is what Spirit is saying. They're still clouded in their judgment. They know what they want to do, but it's still this fear and this anxiety that's keeping them from doing it. So they do have a new perspective about this situation and what they actually want to do. But now it's just time for them to take action and move forward here. Now, they could be still feeling scattered in their thinking because of a situation that ended. Now, something could have ended with this child's um mother here okay and that could be that you know that's the ending too so you know what ends up happening with that you still end up you still grieve right there still could be some grief but grief but they're still planning for their future here and they're planning to make some progress um but they have to just push through that they need to be a little bit more de determined here is what i'm saying um well what i'm trying to say here about it right but again right this is what the problem is. Okay. Some of them are grieving about this third party situation. Whether it is them grieving because of the fact that you guys are not. Y'all have this disharmony between y'all. Or they're grieving because of the ending that could, could be taking place involving this child. Okay. So this is a lot of hardship. A lot of loss that they may be feeling right now here. And this is why they're acting cold in their energy. This is also why they are confused right now. So... Spirit is saying like some of them want another child, but they just didn't want it this way. 
Hmm. Okay, well. They have released that that situation. They have released it, okay? But they're still grieving is what I'm picking up. They're grieving. They're moving slow. They're moving steady in towards you, but they're grieving. Wow. Okay. What's the restrictions about? That's what the restrictions are about. Okay, it's an imbalance here. They still got these codependencies. Thank you. They're operating in their lower self right now. Thank you, spirit. Yep. Yep, they're coming out in all reverse cards here. This is why there's no movement just yet, y'all. They still not moving um, because of that codependency that they got going on here. This is what's creating the imbalance. They're not balanced. Okay, so this is maybe why you've been feeling off balance today, um, Virgo. If you felt that way, it may be because your person is actually feeling imbalanced themselves. Because they got some chaos or whatever it is that's going on around them and they're grieving on top of that. And it has a lot to do with that child here. Something may have taken place. Let me ask. Okay. It's some type of argument. Hmm. They've learned their lesson here. But the thing is, is that there's some arguments or some tension. Let me see what's going on. Thank you so much. Can you tell me about this child and these arguments? So Spirit wants me to remind you that love and blessings fill your life, okay? There's a promise that is made to you. So that's what you should focus on, right? Um, your person could be literally trying to bring some type of balance or some type of peace with this child's mother, all right? Because there may be some type of disharmony and arguments and they're trying to balance this out, right? Now, they're ready to move on to the next thing here. I am getting that. They are ready to move on to the next thing. Um, they're doing their job. They're doing what they... They're moving forward. They're not staying stuck. Yeah, the justice is being served here. It's just that they really don't want to have this disharmony with this child's mother here. Okay, so... They're at the end of the tunnel. They can breathe. <laughs> you can breathe. <laughs> okay? You can breathe. Spirit is still saying just breathe, but justice still has to be served in this situation um, because there's an um, injustice that has been, it's not, yeah, but it's, it's a ruling that's going to be made in your favor. That's all you need to worry about here is what Spirit is saying. So even though they're going through whatever they're going through with that situation here, um, justice still has to be played out or served in that situation as well because there's a disharmony there and it could be some bitterness Um it could be a uh, shit. Let me tell you, a lot of bitterness is what I'm picking up. A lot of arguments, a lot of tension. Whatever is going on between them, it's, it definitely has thrown your person off and they are not satisfied. But these things will improve. But they have to listen to their intuition and get accurate guidance in order to do this. They have to face their fears and grow stronger. This is what this is about. They have to face their fears. And I think I, I did a reading on that already where they're still trying to really figure that situation out as far as facing their own damn selves before they can face you. So they are still dealing with some stuff with this other situation here that they got going on here. Thank you. But they are putting in the work is what I'm hearing. It's like they still are. Don't, don't worry. Your person is not with that other person if that's something that's on your mind. They're not with that person here. And they are actually trying to make good conscious decisions here. Okay, but they still are grieving. So they're in this state where they're trying to really contemplate and meditate on what what it is that they need to do next, right? It's time to release the negativity here. 
So they're still holding on to some hurt and some resentment here and bitterness. But energy is actually gaining momentum in this situation. Thank you. Anything else? What's the energy of this child's mother? They're thinking. Okay, this child's mother's thinking about what's been. They're trying to get on. They're trying to use wisdom with. They're thinking about their abundance. So what they wanted was they wanted something out of this situation. They thought they were going to be able to have this family, right? They thought that the energy that they put in, the effort that they put in, that it would blossom into something. And it's, it's and they're letting go. So they are or they were attached to your person, but that situation is being released and they're letting that attachment go, right? And their vibration may be a little low here, but... They're trying to raise it is also what I'm getting. And where at first they was just totally like dissatisfied. They're starting to move into a different energy here now of appreciation here. Because they were dissatisfied with this situation. Vibing low as hell. But they have definitely released the attachment that they have towards your person here. Okay. And they're worried about their increase and in their abundance in their life more so. Okay. So... Here with your person coming out here. They ain't holding the heart. They're going into a state of appreciation. Why? So I'm getting here that this person really does love your person. They love their person. It's just that they are not... So it was a lot of deceit and manipulation here that was going on, right? And they are definitely trying to look at a healthier way or make a healthier choice here where that they can open up this door to romance with them. So, the, the, okay, so... Y'all, this child's mother is still literally trying to manifest your person here. But they don't have the power, willpower to do this. So even if they're using spells or magic or whatever to try to bring your person here, they don't have the willpower to do this because there's, a res there's restrictions. They don't have the power to do it is what spirit is saying. So they may be trying to come in seeming as if, you know, okay, I changed my mind. I'm not mad. Whatever happened between them, showing them all this love, releasing the manipulation here. But they still not really choosing to do things correctly. All right. And it's still causing some restrictions within that situation here. Thank you. What are the restrictions here? You are. <laughs> You're the restriction. <laughs> Y'all, it's 33 minutes. You're the restriction. I wasn't expecting this to go this way. You're the restriction. Wow, you guys are coming out as the lovers. The restriction is, is because your person has awakened to you. Wow. That's it, y'all. That's it for the energy for the day. I would, I, if I had more space, y'all, I would get more deep into this and figure out what's going on here with this karmic situation here that they got going on. Um, for y'all, maybe I'll do a part two when I get back. I'm getting ready to go holler at my cousin. This is birthday. Um, and just go sit and chill with them for a minute. And then when I get back, then I'll probably do a, bar, a part two to find out what is happening in this situation if y'all want to know, right? So stay tuned. Thank you. Peace.